In this session, we're going to discuss privileged access management, specifically with SSH, and how Venify can detect and remediate unauthorized access. So the challenges with SSH, with unauthorized access, is that cyber criminals and insiders are misusing SSH to gain elevated privileges. They're using the SSH keys to gain access to systems that they probably shouldn't have access to, and they're able to also escalate their privileges. Um, it's also very difficult to determine um, which admins and systems have been accessed by um, users with SSH keys. Um, certainly there's logs, but the SSH keys themselves, they're not really tracked very well, so we don't know when these keys were last used, and we also aren't tracking um, which users are still using particular keys. It's also difficult to enforce the security policies around the generation and the access of the SSH keys, meaning who has access to generate them, where they being stored, um, are they being rotated, are they being end of life, and then who has access to these keys. So the way that we need to address these challenges are we need to have the ability to detect all SSH keys, um, put a process in place that finds all of the keys that are in the environment. We then want to put a policy around this so that we can enforce this, um, such as um, SSH key issuances and um, when the rotation policies are, meaning that policies should dictate that SSH keys maybe need to be rotated every six months or perhaps one year. And then we also need the ability to remediate unauthorized keys automatically. So if something is found that's outside of policy, if a key is found that has you know been in the environment for two years, three years, or even longer, let's put some sort of process in place that gets rid of those old keys. You also need the ability to map the access to trusted admins, keys, and systems so that I can look at a key set and understand where this key is being used and all the systems that are associated with that key. And then finally, having the ability to report an audit it based on everything wrapped around the SSH keys. So how does Venify help with this? On the protection side, um, we have the ability to create visibility inventory with our discovery process. We're going to find all the keys that are out there, bring them into a centralized inventory. You also have the ability to establish a policy that says things like when should keys be rotated, what's the key size, what algorithms are going to be used, and then you also have the ability to enforce those policies. As we've said before in other sessions, there's one thing to establish a policy and another thing to totally enforce that policy. On the detection front, we we have what we call our trust map, which will actually show you if you look at a key set, you'll understand where all the um, servers are and clients that are using that key. And then also on the detection side, there's reporting and auditing infrastructure within Venify so that you have reports and dashboards that show you all the information about their SSH um, keys. And then finally, on the response side of things, the ability to enforce key rotations. So using those policies we previously talked about, the ability to say, I want to rotate my keys in my environment every six months, or different policies based on different organizations, but the ability to actually enforce that. And then the ability to automatically remediate unauthorized keys. Let's say you have a policy that says keys should not have root access. If we find something that does have root access, we can automatically remediate that and make sure that that key does not have root access. All right, um, let's take a look at a brief demonstration. So let's log in to the Venify portal as the admin. And the very first thing we talked about was protection and discovering inventory and setting up policies. So what we want to do is we want to look at the policies for um, these individual. These are um, very customizable depending on your organization. In my demo system, I have one called Production SSH. And in this policy, you'll notice that we set, um, we enforce our policies on um, what algorithm we're going to use, what's the key size we're going to use, what's the key format we're going to use. Do we want to allow duplicate private keys? You can see the different settings here. And then primarily the maximum key age. This is very important. So if we wanted to set it up that you know we had a one year key rotation, and then if Venify found something that's older than 365 days, then that key would then automatically be rotated. You'll also notice we have the ability to set source restrictions, so sort of like access list, where can this key be used or where can it not be used. You also have the ability to set um, force commands so that you can specify that when this key is used, these commands can then be used or automatically use these commands. And then you can also say I want to rotate all the keys in a particular policy so in case there is a, a problem, if you know if a breach happens or something bad happens, you have the ability to you know force rotation on all those keys and then you can also specify contacts. 
So then once you have this policy established, you then have the ability to go in and you can look at your inventory. So um, the discovery process, of course, finds all of these keys. Um, it shows us the access where this key is used, if it's a user key or server key. And then you also notice it shows us the private and the, the number of private and number of public keys. So this tells me that this particular key set the public key is, in, is used on one server, but yet the private key is located on two client machines. So it gives you very good access. You also notice that you have the status that so tells you if there's something outside of your policies. And it also tells you when the last time one of the keys was rotated. All right, so the other ability that we can do is we can actually drill into one of these key sets, for example, and then we have, we're looking at this particular key set, and then remember we talked about having the two private keys and the one public key, and so this gives me the ability to see exactly where this is used. I can also click on Trust Map, and it will show me exactly the connections in and out, and I can also see any reds, meaning that the, pilot, the policies are being violated, and I can select that, and it will show me the key smaller than required, so it gives us, you know, quick visibility into where the key is used, the trust of that key set, and if there's any policy violations. All right, the next thing under detection, we talked about a dashboard view. So if we go to our dashboard, so remember with Venify, we support both SSH and SSL, so you have a dashboard for both. I can select my SSH key dashboard. I can then get an immediate view if I have something that's outside of policy. And then I can also see my critical alerts. I can do a hover and it would show me information about that particular critical alert. I get um, real-time view of my key links what algorithms are in use, my trust distribution per user, and then I also have my trends, and so I can look at the status of my inventory over time. So for example, do I have something that's non-compliant or duplicate private keys that are in use? You'll also notice this notion of an orphan. An orphan means that we found the private key but don't know where the corresponding public key is, or um, the opposite is we found the public key and don't know where the private key is. So very good for um, security measures to, to identify those orphans and remediate those. Everything is clickable that you see here. So if I were to highlight this, I could click and it would take me to those keys. Um, the last thing we wanted to talk about was remediation. So let's say, for example, that we have these keys that are set at DSA instead of RSA. I could click that. I could see my keys. I would have the ability to select this and then if I wanted to change, I could simply click rotate now. And what would happen is it would rotate and because our policy says that all keys must be RSA based, it would then rotate every one of these keys in this key set and make sure that the, the keys are in place um, before the rotation happens. Um, the keys are in place, then the configuration change happens and then those keys are now being used. All right, so real quickly in summary, we talked about protect, detect, and respond. Under protection, the ability to discover and have a very good policy standards. The detection is your trust map and then your dashboards. And then finally, under response is the ability to enforce key rotation and also perform remediation when we found something that's outside of our policy. If you have any other questions, please contact Venify. We're happy to help with anything we can. Thank you very much.